Hello, hello, hello. My name is Warov. Welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Let's continue with the William Wallace campaign. The Battle of Stirling. The time for minor skirmishes is over. We now prepare for war. The villain Longshanks is poised to cross the River Forth and threaten the town of Stirling with a force of men-at-arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. Our newly forged army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. Sounds like fun! The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. Keep making villages at your town centre until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. There. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see a great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. You can specify a location for new units to gather by setting a gather point. Already did that. For villagers, click the town center and click the set gather point button. You have found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food, so send them back to your town center and assign a villager to gather <laughs> food from. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. Kid. Kia. There we go. Rob Wigan, dear. Rob Wigan. Algara. Theodica. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south.
Go click the dock and build a fishing ship. Our love. To fish, click a fishing ship and right-click on a leaping fish. The fishing ship will collect fish and automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. I can see the exploring part. Build a barracks and five militia to defend your villagers and explore the map. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill when your forage bushes are depleted. Each farm needs only one villager working on it. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. Once you have gathered 500 food, advance to the feudal age at your town centre. If you are low on food, build some additional farms. Cat. Here. Rob Wigger, Rob Wigger, Rob Wigger, Rob Wigger. Send you off to explore. Kia. Robuya. Kia. 
Prabhuja. So if you shift click, that sets five, or that queues up five. Arlo, kid. For your help. Once you have gathered 500 food, advance to the feudal age at your town center. If you are low on food, build some additional farms. Rabuja. Kia. Rabuja. Rabuja. Valgra. Rabuja. Forget. Keep exploring the map. Kid, fear the gun. they take. The English are coming to attack. To protect your villagers, you can use the town bell to garrison them in your town center. Click your town center, then click town bell. You are close to the English base. Better not knock down this wall until you have an army of about 12 soldiers. Good. You defeated the English assault. If you have villagers in your town center, ring the town bell again to send them back to work. Arlen. I wonder what the max pop size is for this map. <laughs> Once you have gathered 500 food, advance to the feudal age at your town center. If you are low on food, build some additional farms. Now that you have reached the feudal age, concentrate on making some soldiers to fight the enemy. You will need at least 12. Remember to upgrade weapons and armor at the blacksmith. You do have a blacksmith, don't you? Remember, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms at the barracks. You should always upgrade soldiers when you can afford yeah. it. Rob kid. Rob Wigan it. Shh.
Kid, Rob Boyka. Kia. Rob Boyka. Rob Boyka. Interesting. I think that's everything that I can upgrade except for this guy. Alright, here we are. Something that is nice. <laughs> ah, yes, greater line of sight. This is nice. I like a lot of the automated features like that, or that, toggle automatic. can they hold now? 15? Now you have a large enough force to attack the English base. Charge. Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties and need to make more trips. sure that I have a big enough force to get this all done at once. Nine. One more. Should be ten. Palisade gate? be converted by enemy nothings. Ah, palisades. So they have palisade gates now. That's different. It's going to take yeah. some time to get used to.
Fire galley, demolition boat, transport ship, trade cog. Kid. Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan. Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan, Rob Wigan. Max is probably a hundred for this particular game. Just cause I don't think I'll need them, but Good. Your watchtower will fire on enemy units and help protect your town. And there's plenty of space. Don't forget. Keep exploring the map. Yeah, 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 I know. There we go. Seven more units. I'm always an overachiever. I like having more than I need. Let's see here. How do I attack move? Hotkey R. Eliminated the English soldiers. Now, destroy that tower and our victory will be complete. Great job. You have destroyed the English camp. The Battle of Stirling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. That's easy. Oh. Now that you know how to build up, advance through the ages, and find and fight your enemies. What? You have all the basic did... skills you need to play a random map game. The most common type of game in Age of Empires 2. Excellent. Stirling was our first great victory. Even as we held the coastline, word arrived that Stirling Bridge had been held by a force of Scots led by the mythical knight of whom so many have spoken. Now we know his name. Sir William Wallace, the bane of the English. Edward Longshanks names Wallace a traitor and a criminal. Sir William replies he cannot be a traitor, for he never swore fealty to an English king. With Wallace leading our armies, the men fight with renewed vigor. Perhaps the tide of our misfortunes is about to turn.
They did upgrade the artwork on those mini maps. Let's see here. Let's see how fast I can get this next one done. Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling. So we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. We need to construct a market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. Well, this one should be relatively fun. Capture three relics and garrison them in your monastery. The Scottish army has been rallied by recent victories against the English. Here, the situation is starting to look up. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. One of the relics is close to the town. An ally has another relic, and the English have captured a third. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right-clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers, or those of your allies. Rob they can Wigger. also attempt to convert enemy Here. soldiers to join your army. Rob Kid. Bonit. Arla. Bonit. Kia. Theodica. Kid. Boonage. Kia. Boonage. Erlov. Boonage. Erlov. Kiart. There's one. Fargareth. Oh. Good. You have a relic. Erlov. Protect the relic in the oh. monastery by right clicking the monastery. Here. Uh, monks move exceedingly slowly while they're doing that. Perfect. You now have one relic garrison. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly Rob add Wigia. gold to your stockpile. Kid, hold. Farms are a good source of food once you have exhausted forage bushes and animals. Farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. To gather food from a farm, click a villager, then right-click a farm. Forgera, Kia, Boonage, Kid, Boonage, Erlov, Boonage. It's nice to have allies on the map. Your ally, Forgera. the yellow player, can help you fight the enemy. You can also trade with your allies. To trade, Rob you will need to build a market. Rob 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 Here, 
Эрлов. Робоги. Кид. Робоги. Кия. Personal thing. I like having a grid. Did you know that there are three different modes for the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen? You can show only military units, or only resources, and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the minimap. Hmm. This is different. I don't remember that from the previous game. Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units move to a spot once they are created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. Right over here is kind of the choke point. Oh. Maybe not. Two more. You have reached your ally's town. Go inside to see how his city is doing. Your ally's gate will open automatically for you. Welcome! If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. You can use the technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization. And as soon as these, uh... As soon as these sheep get, uh... Yep. It's seen by your ally. Kia? They get claimed. To. It's an unfortunate aspect. Nice mix of uh, spearmen and kid other Do 
Робоги. 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 have two relics garrisoned. Bring back one more and you will be victorious. Ah, so 75 is the max. Okay. Doesn't matter. You have a market. The market can create trade carts to generate extra gold. You can also exchange one resource for another at the market for a small fee. Click the market, then click sell food for gold. So in order to use the trade carts, you just set the spawn point or gather point to your ally. The English are attacking our town. Can you tribute any spare food or gold to us? To tribute your ally, click the diplomacy button in the upper right corner of the screen. Give your ally food. In gold, but don't give him everything you own. Thanks for the resources. If you have any spare soldiers, come to our town and let's drive the English out. Bargain. You made a trade cart. If you click the trade cart on your allies' market, you can make extra gold. Your trade cart will automatically make trips between your and your allies' markets. No, it won't. Or at least it didn't in the past. enough soldiers now to think about attacking the English and recovering the relic. If you're getting ready to attack the English, I can help you out. Here! Take this food and wood. Forgera, Kia, Forgera, Erlov. Robuje. Ah, 
monks will heal your units, by the way, if you didn't know that. Swordman. Absolutely. see how much gold you'll get by uh, clicking on your opponent allied yeah gold available by trading here is 25 not bad actually great punkman I just want to make sure everything I can have is upgraded to the max Also do the monks as like number four. trade with your enemy, which is hilarious, by the way. Okay. 
Yeah, you can, uh, as long as their market is alive, you can trade with your enemy. See? Gold available by training here. Huh. Interesting, it didn't, uh, didn't do what I thought it would. And here comes the completion. Congratulations. You have captured all three relics. Yay! With the three relics locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers and knights of our own with which to meet warships. We march south to Falkirk, where we will join with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack on the English castle. Well, that was fun. But... I believe that is all I have time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, please subscribe. Either really helps in getting these videos out there. Oh, and don't forget the notification bell. Links are on the end screen or in the description below. Have a blessed day and see you guys next time.